Hey everybody, I'm John Hendricks. Uh, we're downstairs here in my basement for another episode of Fossils at Home. Today I'd like to share with you one of my very favorite kinds of fossils. The fossil specimens that I'd like to talk with you about today are these right here. These are called tabulate corals. They're a particular kind of tabulate coral called favocytes. I had a fossil that looked like this when I was a kid. I displayed it in my bedroom in a little museum that I had set up. I labeled it as a fossil beehive. What I meant, of course, was a honeycomb. That is exactly what this type of coral looks like. Its scientific name is Favocytes, but it is commonly known as a honeycomb coral. This particular specimen of Favocytes was collected by my wife a long time ago. This is a really awesome example, and I've, truth be told, coveted it for a very long time. I keep asking my wife if I can have it, and she keeps saying no. Tabulate corals were colonial animals. They were composed of many individual little polyps that looked a lot like sea anemones. That's also true for many modern day species of corals. Each one of these little holes would have been occupied by a single animal. We call these holes coral lights. Social distancing was impossible for these animals. As the individual polyp that occupied the coral light grew, it would lay down these little plates behind it. These little plates are called tabulae, and that's what gives tabulate corals their name. If you want to have a better look at this particular specimen of tabulate coral, I've created a 3D model of it and put it on a website called Sketchfab. The link for that website is in the description below. Even though you're welcome to do whatever you want with the 3D model, my wife says that the actual specimen is still hers. Tabulate corals originated during the Ordovician period. They were very important reef makers during the Silurian and Devonian periods and formed complex habitats that allowed other organisms to flourish. Tabulate corals met their demise at the end of the Permian period during the most severe mass extinction in Earth's history, which happened just over 250 million years ago. Not all tabulate corals look like honeycombs. In fact, tabulate corals had a diversity of forms. Some had corallites that were only attached along two or three edges, giving them a chain link-like appearance when viewed from above. They are conveniently called chain corals and are assigned to the genus Halocytes. This specimen is from the Silurian of Wisconsin. It lived at the same time and in the same place as our honeycomb corals. Other tabulate corals had corallites that were shaped like pipes and are frequently found encrusting upon other fossils. That means growing on top of them. In this particular example, the encrusting tabulate coral Olipora is growing on top of a specimen of honeycomb coral from the Devonian period of New York. There are many other types of tabulate corals as well. Some were mound-shaped, others look like a collection of tubes, some well-organized, others a bit of a mess. I hope that you've enjoyed learning a little something today about tabulate corals. There's a link in the description below to additional information on the Digital Encyclopedia of Ancient Life about this interesting group of extinct animals. Below you'll also find a link to a 3D model of the tabulate coral specimen that I shared with you earlier. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and also please subscribe to the Paleontological Research Institution YouTube channel. We'll be adding more videos soon. Thanks for listening and I'll see you again soon.